I'm stuck. Oh, look at this mud. Mad. Good morning internet, it is 5 to 7 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Welcome here in Colombia. I am staying in Mokoa, super cool jungle setting. To get to kind of the reception area, I have to cross a little bridge over a river through the property. Look at this. How cool is that? So it's breakfast time first and then I will show you on the map what the plan is for today where I want to go, what I want to see, and uh, let's see how we will get home with this day. <laughs> Good morning, chicken. Can I go in? Yes, thank you. Buenos dias. Hola. So this is for breakfast today. We got some scrambled eggs and then some, uh, what is this? Some sort of bread with cheese again. So that seems to be a, a kind of common thing, I think, for breakfast in Colombia. Some more bread and a coffee with milk. Okay, gracias. Ciao. Adios. So today's plan is to ride to uh, a town called San Agustin. And I'm going there because there's something pretty interesting to see there. So my plan is to make it there in half day and then I have the afternoon to kind of explore the area. Wow. Look at this. Isn't this just amazing? I wonder what's in those white jars. Some fish, maybe. Yeah, there's definitely water in there. So it's splashing out. Crossing the Rio Mulato. So this is uh, still uh, Mokoa. I was staying uh, just a little bit outside of town. So now I'm just uh, passing through. Just look at the location of this town. It's just in the middle of the jungle. Well, it's, I'm like in the early morning commute. Everybody going to work. <laughs> I feel like I have my own uh, motorcycle gang here. Police control. See, they let me through. They have these uh, green uh, bikes, the police. So I find it pretty ugly. <laughs> I mean, it stands out, but it, it's ugly. It's like this, not a nice green. Wow. Just jungle as far as the eye reaches. Oh, he has a flat tire. Let's see if he needs some help. Necesita ayuda. Está pinchado. Buenos días. Se lo tiene un roto grande aquí en el puente de los Es cerca. Sí, ya está. Okay. Tengo aire. No, no me sirve una puntilla grandecita les hace. Ah. <laughs> He's almost there. Ciao. Oh, it's 
finally dry again. I had another long stretch of what, what was it, 50 kilometers through torrential downpour. <laughs> but now it's dry, so let's enjoy this uh, while it lasts. It's uh, 70 kilometers to go. The road is so much better than I thought. I don't know, people told me, oh, this road is horrendous, but I don't know what they're talking about. Um, every now and then, yeah, there are some potholes. But uh, other than that, it's just like this. So, making good progress. I am almost in uh, San Augustine, my destination for today. Uh, when I arrive, I will show you actually on the map uh, the route that I took and where I am, because I forgot uh, this morning. It's uh, eight kilometers to go, so I'm almost there. up again to over 1400 meters now all right I am in town San Augustine huh? come on pop a wheelie Wow, what is this? They make it look like a castle or something. What a lively town. This is cool, I like it. Oh, this is the main square. Hola! Hay un hospedaje, no? Ah. Subes un poquito y hacia el fondo. Okay, lo siento. Aquí como de Okay, gracias. <laughs> it's the next house. Sorry, oops. I set off the dog alarm at the neighbors. This one then. Ah yeah, here it is. <laughs> Casa de Nelly. All right, check this out. I have found the cutest, cutest little cabana to stay. Look at it. This is downstairs. And then I also have upstairs here where I can sleep. And there's even, there's a balcony. How do you get there? Oh. And I can sit outside here. How about that? Anyway, they just told me that the place I wanted to visit today is closed today. Um, and it will be open tomorrow. That's all good. So I'll just uh, stay the afternoon here. And then tomorrow morning go check out the place where I actually came here. I don't know what's going on. I thought there's a... You hear that? I know there's some sort of war going on or there's fireworks. I don't know. Anyway, let me show you, as promised, on the map where I am now. So I started this morning from Makoa and then, well, it's pretty straightforward. I just followed uh, this road to Pitalito and then I took a left and now I'm here at San Agustin. What is going on? As you can see, it is slow going here in Colombia and it, the country is massive. And still on the other side of the map is the north part of uh, Colombia. So I still have a long way to go, but uh, enjoying it so far. So I am now taking you to perhaps one of the biggest mysteries on the entire continent. And in this area, they have found 600 statues and over 40 monumental burial mounds. And nobody knows who made them. So very little is known about the skilled people that made all these statues and they didn't have a written language and they disappeared centuries before the Europeans came here. But archaeologists say that these people lived in this area already 
3300 years BC and as you can see I'm now walking through really really nice part of the jungle so this is what I was talking about look at these statues they're huge this one is almost as tall as me you see and then there's some more here this one is even a lot taller than me This is actually the largest collection of religious monuments and megalithic statues in the whole of South America. It's all right here. And the sculptures seem to be so well preserved. Maybe they've, they've probably cleaned up the statues a little bit to make them uh, better visible again. But amazing, right? Why did they make them? It's just fascinating to me that something like this exists and we literally have no idea about the people that made them and why and what it all means See, so we got another statue another tomb right there and then that's a face that one looks a bit like a monkey but a lot more weathered And then an incredibly tall one. Not a bad place for a burial mound. Look at this view. Oh, look at this one. How impressive is this? They're so tall. And then there's a massive burial site here as well. Incredible, right? This thing must be two and a half, three meters tall. It's amazing. All right, I just picked up uh, Alaska back here at the guest house. I've done enough uh, walking now. <laughs> I want to check out another site, but it's uh, 15 kilometers from here. And well, 15 kilometers there and back, that's a little bit too far to walk. So, Alaska is going to carry me. Let's see where this leads. Oh. Some water. a little bit like uh, some sort of horse trail Oy. I don't know this is the route that's indicated <laughs> I'm not sure how everybody passes here. There's also a gate. I don't know. On the other side, there wasn't a gate. This last bit is uh, probably the worst. Come on, Alaska. Oh, I'm stuck. Hi. That's deep. Come on. <laughs> Look at that. A little bit stuck here. Let's do that.
my four gloves. <laughs> oh. Let me see. Almost. <laughs> Almost out. Got out. I am a tad bit muddy, but boy, now oh, I'm out. See, so I put that log at the back, this one at the front. <laughs> After my rear tire was sitting, not sure what happened with the real road. I must ride a little curve for now because you can see. I have absolutely zero profile left. It's all uh, caked with mud. <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm sweating. Where am I going? Hola. All right, so it should be somewhere here. Actually, in fact, it is here. Hola. Podría parquear aquí. Está bien. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Perfecto. Gracias. Escupe. <laughs> sí, bastante. Lejos, de lejos. No, solo 10 kilómetros de aquí. Está mucho. Mucho. Casi cada día, ¿no? Sí, sí, sí. Es seguro aquí, ¿no? Sí. No hay problema. Sí. <laughs> ok, muy bien, muy bien. Para limpiar, ¿hay algo aquí? Donde se lavan carros. No hay. En San Agustín. En San Agustín, ok. Creo que mi amiga aquí necesita una limpia. Ah. <laughs> right, let's check out this tomb. Wow, I am still sweating from my little muddy ordeal but look at this oh. so this is also a tomb kind of like on the other place but then much bigger look at that completely cut out out of the rocks and then there's another massive one here wow this goes like another 
two meters down, at least. Incredible. And these tombs are right in the, in the center of this, what is it now, a, a town. Looks like they buried a person there and then covered it with these rocks. Not sure what that is. This is a small museum they have here. Also, these are also pottery that was found in here. And this must be like an artist impression of how the world looked like during that time. Look, those are the ones I saw. Maybe the people that built it. Bueno, mucho gusto y gracias. Adiós. All right. So that was quite a fascinating sight as well to be able to go down in one of these tombs. Um, I'm going to ride back now to San Agustin. I'm going to try to find a alternative route back. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to take the same route through all that mud. Surely there must be another way, which I'm going to find. So that was it for today. I uh, really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then I'll see you in the next video.